Hello everyone. So today we will uh, discuss about basic concept of Verilog HDL. So previously we have discussed history of Verilog HDL and uh, the evolution of uh, HDL and some importance of HDL. All these things we have discussed in previous video. So next video we will say detail about basic concept. Here uh, in next slide we will discuss about syllabus basic concept is a uh, uh, introduction to just basics of very long HDL so it consists of lexical convention data type system task and compiler directive so in textbook one there is Samir Palnitka so you have chapter number three and the entire chapter number is three is module two first half portion and um, module Models and ports that is chapter 4 uh, covered by my another colleague Savita Ma'am. The uh, basic concept consists of the lexical convention, data type, system task, and compiler directly. So, main uh, concept of this uh, module is to just introduction the basic concept of very long HDL. So, what are the things included in uh, uh, libraries or data types or uh, tasks or directives? So, uh, and uh, different types of model, how you can use this type of conventions in your programming? And uh, this is just like a theory like uh, uh, concept. So, actually, there is no programs here. But uh, you require basic concept when you are writing a program. That's the main main thing. Before going to actual su subject, so you will see what is the learning objectives of this uh, chapter. So you have understanding the lexical convention for operators, comments, white space, number, string, and identifier. Define the logic values, set and data types such as nets, register, vectors, uh, numbers, simulation time, array, parameter, memories, and string. Identify the useful system task for displaying and monitoring the information and stopping and finishing the simulation. Learn the basic compiler directives to define macros including file. Just remember only basic things means how to write space like numbers, string or identifier or register, vectors, nets uh, or simulation time, array, parameter. How to declare it, not how to use it. The concept is here very clear. Okay, like C or C++, you have different data types or uh, different, different uh, uh, libraries are there how to use that libraries all these things similar to explain here so um, lexical conventions are nothing but like uh, uh, basic things required to write very large HDL program say like uh, C, C++ or any uh, language like Java whatever things you are writing there same thing apply here also so it's a, like uh, uh, Things required for declaring any anything sentences like real limiters, numbers, string, identifiers, or keywords. You require this one. First topic is white space. So white spaces are nothing but like blank, like blank space. So backward slash with B indicates blank space means that uh, whatever line is blank or tabs backward slash with t is a tab or new line if you are writing backward slash with n so it tells uh, that it's a new line so i think c also you are writing that one only printer okay percentage d something or next line just print in next line like that so similar to that one so white spaces are ignored in very long 
except when it's separate local. And uh, voice process are not ignored in stream. Just remember this point. The next topic is comments. So comments, how to write a comments? Like comments are nothing but it won't execute in your programming. It won't synthesize or it, it won't uh, simulate that program uh, lines. So comments like uh, in C also we we are using that comments lines means minus minus like that. Similar to here, A is equal to B. Uh, two ampersands are there. That is binary operator. So output A is equal to B and C, like this. So B and C output is A. So here this line. Two forward slashes are there. They are okay. Actually, comments. So from here, from this line onwards, it won't execute. It will execute only these lines. These lines will be executed in a compiler. And uh, if you want multi-line comments, then you have to forward slash with star and end with okay star forward slash. So you can have. 10 line, 15 line, or 1000 lines comment also. In some module you can disable using comments, or some programs or functions you can disable directly by comments. And uh, another one is this is the uh, comments declaration. You cannot declare like okay forward slash start. So this is illegal. So you cannot write this one. So legally you can write like this. So this is the correct way. So you can start with forward slash star or to forward slash. You can end with this one. So some compilers it won't take this type of. So it will take like this only. So with the respect to the simulation tool, you can write. Actually, these comments are acceptable. And third topic is operator. There are three types of operators binary, binary, and binary operator. So, here first one is here one example they are given. So, so, it's like a not yet. So, output A and input is B. So, output is A and input is B. B like this. So here the operand is single operand. So here operand is single operand. So B. So negation. This stands for negation. Yes. So not. Not symbol is very log like this. So I think in uh, your laptop you have above that uh, tab you have this type of symbol then uh, second operators is binary operator so here see b and c is input and a is out so here uh, c and b are inputs are there and uh, a is output so binary operator you can have multi bit operation operand also so like uh, 1 1 1 1 and ampersand 0 0 0 4 zeros then output is like a is equal to 0 0 0 1 so, so here you can do bitwise operation and the third one is the ternary operator so here we are writing like a is equal to b question mark c is to d like uh, this is a similar to your max design so 
so output is a here and the select line is b inputs are c and d so if b is true means b is true output is c then b is false means 0 then output is b so this is a two is to one marks here this is a question mark for conditional operation so here you have three operands at a time b c and d are three operands at a time we are using so this is a simple um, two is to one marks design using very long hdl next topic is on number specification so here we are discussing about uh, what is the sized and unsized numbers in very long so first one is uh, sized number how to declare sized numbers like uh, you see you have integer a or real float like that characters similar to in very long hdl you have size so default size of uh, any number is 32 bit so 0 to 31 you can declare if you are not declared that one so there is a two types of declaration sized or unsized unsized so numbers declared like first one sized numbers are declared like this see so very important uh, when you are declaring any input for simulation it required this is a basic steps so four tick b one 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 stands for okay so four stands for number of bits so four stands for number of bits how many number of bits okay number of bits of bits so here it's given as four and b stands for binary b stands for binary binary so tick stands for this is attribute it's actually you are declaring any number you have to write tick and then it will give the attribute means it will link the uh, actually functions or task so this will store values attributes and one 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 is actually one 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 is value actually value so you can give any value four bit number like this zero 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 or one zero one zero or one 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 zero one like these are the things you can give anything four bit number so if you want if you can declare four tick b one also okay default it will take zero zero one for some uh, compiler only it will take otherwise you have to declare full numbers and uh, see another one is here so i already told b stands for binary binary then uh, b stands for hexadecimal b stands for hexadecimal and uh, o stands for octal o, o stands for octal b binary then uh, decimal octal or hexadecimal decimal means 0 to 9 you can declare in this number octal means 0 to 7 binary 0 1 and hexadecimal you can declare 0 to 15 means a b c d e f up to after 10 after 9 you can declare a b c d e f like that so here declaration is like this 255 so 16 bit decimal 255 or 12 bit hexadecimal abc abc means so 
10, 11, 12. Like that, you can play. And another thing is here unsigned number. So, unsigned, unsigned numbers are like uh, so without uh, having any okay uh, declaration like B D O H you have like direct declaration default it will take 32 bit number of decimal and here also if you are declining tick H C 3 default it will take 32 bit number tick O also default it will take 32 bit number of octal so just remember C also same thing you have integer default size is 32 bit here also same thing it's a derived from C language only HDL and uh, another thing just important thing is in very long HDL so instead of having zeros and ones in digital design in very long you have X and Z also so you have unknown and high impedance values also in uh, very log HDL. So unknown means so whatever va value is there either 0 or 1. So it may be fluctuating from 0 to 1, 1 to 0 like. So it's having some value right. So it's uh, declared as X and uh, Z means high impedance. So if you uh, want to declare any value as a high impedance then you can declare as a Z. So high impedance nothing but like for example if you are having two modules A and B and uh, if uh, output of A is connected to input of B module then if there is no input uh, sorry output from A and it's disconnected to B module so and then uh, input for B module is high impedance like so wire is broken like and input is given as a high impedance like that so you can declare same thing so you can declare x as a 4 bit 8 bit 16 bit or whatever 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 any digit or uh, any numbers you can declare not only 4 12 16 any number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 to 100,000 uh, lakhs also you can declare it will create a uh, space in your memory for that one so here it's a given as a 12 x 12 tick h 1 3 x so x stands for okay unknown value but default it will take okay four least significant bit are unknown because one is four bit three is four bit and x is four bit and uh, six tick h x is all six bits are hexadecimal number are unknown and 32 bit z is 32 bit impedance number given